Hey guys, Evans here. Please follow along as we go through this warm up. Squad. As you do a squat, I'd like you to keep your feet shoulder width apart, push your hips back and down, and you can move your arms forward as a counterbalance to help you. For those that are a little bit more advanced, what you can do is hold a squat for one to two seconds at the bottom of, of the squat, and then come back up. Three, two, one, rest. Next is alternating hamstring stretch. You're going to put your left foot forward, point your toes towards your knees, Three, and two, bend the one. right knee Standing as you're shifting your hip backwards stretch. to touch left. the toe. Five, Three, two, one, three, two, one. Standing alternating sides hamstring stretch, right. Three, two, For the T-spine rotation, one. what Rest. you're going to do is put your arms straight in front of you and keeping your feet shoulder width apart, your hips staying forward, you're going to turn two, to the left, one. getting keeping the belly the button in as much left. as you can as you turn left. Three, two, one, T-spine rotation right. Three, two, one. Next is cat yes. cow. You're gonna be on your in a quadruped position, so in your hands and knees. Your hands are under your shoulders. Your Three, knees are under your hip. Two, and then you're gonna cat round cow. your back or sink into the into your back and round your back. This is great for lower back pain. Three, two, one, rest. Lumbar rotation left. So you're going to lay on your back, have your left ankle across Three, your right two, knee. Your hands one. are going to be facing Lumbar out to the side. Left. And the palm, your right hand is down as you turn your right knee towards the floor. So this is stretching the left side of you in here. Ensure that you're pushing the left knee away from the hip and gently come back up. Three, two, 
one, three, two, one. Lumber rotation right. Three, two, one, rest. Next is half leaning T-spine or thoracic spine rotation. So you're going to take a knee. If you have challenges Three, with taking a knee, you can two, also do this from a chair, uh, bench. But both hands are on the ground left. and your head and arms reach up towards the sky, looking at your thumb as much as you can. And then when you come down, you switch sides. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Half kneeling T spine rotation right. Three, two, one, rest. For the knee hugger, you're gonna lay on your back, pull your knee in towards Three, your chest, two, and push one. the shin to the knee wall behind left. you. So the knee comes in towards the chest, push the shin towards the wall behind you, and then relax the foot back down. Each time you show you're grabbing behind the knee, pulling it in first, and then lifting the shin towards the wall behind you. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Knee hugger right. Three, two, one. Next is your scapular push-up. So you're gonna lay, a, spin over into a push-up position, have the hand directly under Three, the shoulder two, and, de and drop scapular into your shoulders and then come back out, keeping a full plank position. So your entire body is rigid and just moving through your scapula. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, forward circles. Three, two, one, rest. Three, two, one, backward circles.
Next, we have serve the platter. You're going to put your left arm straight forward. Descend the shoulder as much as you can with your palms facing up and pull Three, at the elbow two, across one. your body. Keep your body nice and straight. Five. You feel a stretch in the back of your shoulder. Ensure that you come all the way back out across your body and pull the shoulder down as you're pulling the elbow towards your body. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Serve the platter, right. Three, two, one. Next is open gate, yes. close the gate. And you lift up your left knee to, to hip height, then open it up, put it back down Three, on the ground, two, and then re um, repeat. Open so gate, up, close gate. Open yes. down, and then up, open in. Nice and controlled through that movement. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Open gate, close gate, right. Three, two, Next we have scoops. Rest. So what you'll do is put almost like the alternating hamstring stretch. You're gonna straighten your left foot, reach forward three, and just grab two, like a scoop, like one. a scoop of ice cream. Scoops. Take three steps. So you're gonna scoop and then one, two, three, and then switch legs and scoop again. And you can do this all the way down the facility. I'm just demonstrating it as if you just stay in place. Three, two, Next, one. we have ankle Rest. stretch. So this is a different ankle stretch. You're gonna spread your feet out, just um, your Three, right foot in front of your two, left, get a one. nice stance, ankle and stretch. ensure left. that your left heel stays down and push your hip and right knee forward, feeling that stretch on the left calf. You're gonna hold the stretch for the full 30 seconds. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Ankle stretch, right. Three, two. Lastly, one. we have wall angels. Rest. So you can either do this directly on the wall. You'd want your hip, shoulders, and head touching the wall. 
bring your elbows Three, and hand towards the two, wall and you're going to rise up slowly to the air as high as you can bring your biceps towards your ears and then pull the elbow back down uh, and as low as you can and then back up if you do it without a wall then just maintain control as you're pulling the elbow down and pushing up and showing those biceps go up by the ears also do your best to keep your abs engaged through the entire motion Three, two, one. Your timer is complete.